Henshaw's Daily Living. Welcome to Henshaw's Knowledge Village. Today's video is about using useful vision. So this is through a program called Skills for Seeing. We're going to talk about eccentric viewing. We're going to talk about steady eye strategy. We're going to talk about magnification and lighting too. So if that's going to float your boat, then stay tuned. So the Macula Society have introduced something called Skills for Seeing and Henshaws are fortunate to run these courses through our tech lads. Um, but this is really a non-tech solution. This is about using what useful vision you've got, primarily if you've got macular degeneration. So how does it work? Well, we're going to find out. So let's talk about eccentric viewing. When someone's got macular degeneration, their central vision is disrupted. So essentially, hopefully, in post-production, you will be seeing me through the view of somebody with macular degeneration. So you'll see the central part is missing. Eccentric viewing is a piece of training because it'll be, it's, a, it's quite a difficult thing to get your head around because it's not a natural thing to do. But it's essentially to look at something you actually look away from it, okay? Because what we're trying to do is find the piece of vision that you can still use in a conventional way of reading. So as I said, this is a non-tech solution. What we're trying to do is find the eyesight that you've got and utilize it. This is an unnatural way to work because essentially instead of doing what you usually would do and look centrally at the thing you want to read or the piece of detail work you're trying to achieve, like threading a needle, all daily living tasks. This is about actually looking away from the object and trying to utilize what sight you've got left within that macula. It's not for everybody, but we have had success in people reading in this conventional way. So the only way to do it is to give it a go. So that's eccentric viewing. Next up is steady eye strategy. So let's talk about steady eye strategy. This is similar to eccentric viewing, but it's a whole lot different. With steady eye strategy, you now know which part of your macula is useful. So you concentrate on that useful part of your vision, and essentially you move the text whilst keeping your eyes straight. So you move the text along which makes it a lot easier and a lot faster to be able to read because essentially there's a lot less going on apart from that moving text. The macular degeneration have got a fantastic app and it's called EV Reader. It's only available on the iPad, um, but it's an essential tool to try and really hone your skills once you understand that for some, using the macula that's left you're able to still read and do kind of detailed tasks. So that is steady eye strategy. So now we're going to move on to magnification. So magnification, very important. What a lot of people don't realize is the magnifiers that you would have got from the hospital are prescribed. Because we get a lot of people that say they don't kind of work for me anymore. It's probably time to go back and check your site with relate, relating to the magnification that you've been issued. Um, the other thing that a lot of people do forget is how to actually use them. So this isn't a training video, but I just want to point out the way you use this type of cup magnifier. So essentially, a lot of people kind of do that. It's not right. The way this works is you bring it right to your eye and you lay it on the page. It's essentially how you do it. This bad boy has got a light as well, so it really is. And we'll talk about lighting in a minute. This one's got a light too. So it really brings a light right into the text, um, right to your eye. Because essentially, the, the more messing around you've got with the text and your and, and then your eye, all that coordination, you're not gonna get an optimum reading position. And that even goes with the kind of magnification that you get, you know, from the back of the Daily Mail. Um, so that's about magnification. Um, another little trick, um, and I've got it in my hand here. 
is a document holder. So I've got a clipboard here and I've got a proper like office document holder here. Fantastic devices, cheap as chips, just to keep that page steady and flat. Because again, the more messing around you've got with your hands, you know, folding, lighting, it's really good to have it on a stable platform for then for you to read um, in this conventional way, which this video is all about. So that is magnification. I touched on lighting there because this has lighting. Uh, so that's the next little bit. So let's cue lighting. So lighting, got to talk about lighting because it is one of the most eureka moments people have when we see them. So essentially, sometimes we go to people's homes and they've just got like a, you know, 200 watt bulb in the middle of the room uh, and they're trying to read the paper. Kind of don't work that. What you need is kind of task lighting. So the, the, the unit that I've got here is a product from Spicer. It's a bang on piece of product, top of the range. It's got three types of um, lighting and they call them kind of temperatures, white light, gold light, blue light even. Um, but essentially it's about getting light on the page or the thing you're trying to do. It makes such a difference, obviously, but sometimes people kind of forget these obvious things when they've got a problem. So these create real solutions to utilize the site that you've got. Um, this one's kind of battery operated. And like I said, it goes through different colors, um, white light, blue light, yellow light. I'm a blue light kind of guy, but sometimes I'm not. Um, so it gives you an option of moving this light around depending on what the ambient light conditions are. It's such a big deal getting the right light in um, that I can't underestimate it. You know, you can start getting into all the other stuff, um, but if your lighting ain't right, then you're not gonna read as well as you could. So that's lighting. So I hope you found this video of interest. As always, the Trinity, like, comment, and please subscribe, because it helps us no end. So until the next video, I'll see you then. Henshaws, supporting people with sight loss and a range of other disabilities to go beyond expectations.